Lesson 15 is about maples. I suggest that you make a copy of this page and give it out to your students because this is the main types of maples that could be on tree B. Sugar maple and Norway maple are quite similar. Norway has sharp points. Black maple looks like a sugar maple, but very soft edges. Silver maple has five parts to it and got larger teeth all around it. Red maple has five lobes and teeth all around it. Mountain maple has three main sections, often two other sections near the bottom. Striped maple has three sections. Manitoba maple is the only one that's compound. An amur maple has one log long middle lobe. Sugar maple, five dull pointed lobes, two at the bottom, two in the middle, and one at the top. All sugar and other maples have paired keys. This is what classifies a maple as that a double seed with a wing on each seed. Sugar maples in the autumn are red, orange, yellow, and the most beautiful of all the trees because all of these colors can be there at one time. Maplewood is used to manufacture musical instruments such as violins, viola, guitars, and drums. Black, sugar, and red maples are the trees that are important for the maple syrup production. Black has the most sugar, Sugar maple has the second most, and red has some. All maples have some sugar, but the other maples not listed here don't have enough to make it worthwhile to collect the sap. Red maple, many teeth along the edges. The fall color is bright red usually, and the stems are also red. The flowers often early on look red. Beautiful tree from the distance, second only to the sugar maple. Interesting facts. Norway maple is not a native, but is included here because there are so many Norway maples in Ontario. If you break the stem of a Norway maple, a milky white fluid will be seen. Remember that the Norway has a lot of points. Norway maple flowers are yellowish green and come out before the leaves. The unique thing about the Norway maple fruit is it looks like a person doing the splits and this is an identifiable feature. Crimson King Norway will probably not be on but if it is you can see it's the same as a Norway maple except the color. The points on all the, the edges that come out. Crimson King Norway maple has small seeds with red here and whitish or, or beige here. Norway maple is an ornamental species of maple trees brought here in the 1700s. It is invasive and can spread very quickly into natural areas. Black maple. Black maple has a pillowy look. To flatten this out for a maple leaf collection would be difficult because these would crease. Normally it's pillowy in these three sections. Black maples make the best maple sugar. Sugar maple is the most common and therefore the most often used to collect sap for maple syrup. Silver maple, they have deep lobes you can count one, two, three, four, five sections to it very easily. This is a yellow warbler in a silver maple tree. Provides good protection for them. Fall colors can be yellow or red, but not normally as bright as the red maple or the sugar maple. Manitoba maple is the only maple that is compound. 
the way you can tell it from an ash, which it does look like and sometimes it's called an ash maple, is that some of the leaflets are compound. So it is single compound and here double compound. Also, it could have lobes on each of the leaflets. Ash does not have that. If the leaflets from a Manitoba maple are overlapped with each other, a more familiar shape will take place. Manitoba maple leaf buds are dark gray and reddish brown for the stem. Manitoba maple flowers are a little colorful when they first sprout, but soon become almost indistinguishable. And some people think they're odd looking leaves. Manitoba maple keys hang down. Manitoba maple twigs are very waxy and you can easily rub off some of the waxiness from the stem. In Ontario, Manitoba maple is considered a weed tree. However, in Manitoba, it is one of the only maples that grows there in abundance and can be used for maple syrup collection. Although you must boil a lot more of its sap and sugar or black maple in order to get anything sweet enough to call a syrup. Striped maple is a shrubby tree which grows mostly in central and north Ontario. It has three lobes all with teeth. The unique characteristic about the striped maple is what gives its name. In the young tree, it has distinctive bark stripes. The striped maple also has another feature that it looks very much like a Canadian goose foot. For this reason, it's also called the goose foot maple. Mountain maple looks like a striped maple, except the side ones are not as distinct coming out to points. And it's quite a bit wider at the base. Another sample. Sometimes it'll have another lobe but near the bottom, but you can't count on that for all of them. Here you can see the lobes are quite distinct, but in other uh, leaves, it won't be as distinct as that. Mountain maple does not have any clear defined stripes like the striped maple. Mountain maple, interesting facts. This tree is normally not on tree B, but it's mentioned because it's so commonly found on lawns. It's a Japanese maple with a number of different lobes and very sharp indentations. Looks very pretty in the fall and therefore is a popular ornamental tree. The Amur maple can grow wild and it is very distinct in that it has one large section out and then two small sections at the bottom. And of course it turns red in the fall. And the fruit, the um, maple keys are reddish in color. Amur maple is considered an invasive species, which is tolerant to pests and most diseases. 